and they are uh, they want to meet with the public to keep you informed. So we're really happy about that. We did meet last week. Yeah. I believe we got an overview, and uh, so they're in involving the city. We're active in this process, but we think it's most important. You're feeling it. You're going to be dealing with this. That you keep informed of the progress of the project. So we're just happy uh, that the agreement was blessed in Washington. We're happy that it's proceeding. Uh, but we know that before we can all be overjoyed, we have to get through all these these nasty parts of projects. So um, you know, we look forward to the work getting done. Uh, but we're very eager to get it started so that we can get to that point. But this is all about you, so I'm not going to eat up your time. I have a iftar dinner that I'm going to get back to at City Hall. Um, so I did want to come out and just let you know that the city's involved. We're not um, hiding and vacant. We're present, and uh, we're really going to be involved every step of the way. And I know Council Del Russo feels the same way. He's been active on this for years and years, so it's good to see him. And Rep. Faber, we all know, is um, very active in all issues pertaining to this uh, region. So thank you, Rep. Faber. And either of you have some words, um, I'd like to welcome you up. Just, just very briefly, and we'll hear. And I want to hear. Oh, I know a lot of you have been very, very involved throughout. We've been working on this for 10, 12 years, <laughs> and uh, in its uh, many uh, incarnations. In fact, at one point, we thought we were being, would be riding along the uh, trolley car uh, to here in 2014. Uh, that didn't happen, but. Um, did, obviously, uh, as this part of the project has been rolling along, um, it, there were some concerns that have come up and a feeling that there weren't proper channels of communication. Uh, as this proceeds and as the major construction then is more and more visible um, as the project moves on, I think it will be essential that there be a community point person, uh, whether it be by the contractor or the T itself uh, or DOT, um, who's going to uh, be the contact person for the citizens and the neighbors as they're affected uh, by whatever might come up in the con uh, construction process. Uh, over the past two years, uh, two and a half years, when we went through the uh, expansion of the bridges to prepare for the project, um, I know neighbors along uh, Winchester Street uh, found it very helpful to have uh, on site a person that they could reach out to right there, and it worked out great in addressing any of the issues that came up throughout that entire project, whether it was uh, getting uh, additional things done and settling of long-standing problems with uh, drainage that needed to be addressed anyways because of the uh, bridge uh, widening or um, even with some of the day-to-day -day issues of uh, construction communication. So that'll all be essential, I think, for the people uh, so that their lives can can exist without being uh, disrupted uh, to a great degree. And if I could just jump in, we also impressed upon the team the importance of having the citizen groups reactivated. So I know maybe still probably address that a little later on, but we're really, really yeah, pushing for that. I think the idea that I get was to form some kind of uh, interactive groups in mm -hmm. the fall as the DB comes up. Right. Very good. And then, Council, your point is very well taken. If we're not engaging directly with our abutters and being responsive, we're not doing our job. And, and as I said, I opened the meeting. Um, you know, there was a glitch there between because of the transfer from the old job and ending and the early works and trying to get some things done quickly under the kills contract, and we learned from that, and it won't happen again. Great. Thank you all for being here. And Thank you, Mary. Fred, you'll fill me in for I will. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, and I, I want to thank uh, Snapshot and folks right here for coming out and actually meeting with neighbors here um, in the neighborhood, and thank you for providing space. Um, I'm hopeful that as we move forward, there'll be a lot better uh, communication. And I think uh, Freddie's idea is great to have one point person. I think the email and the hotline are, are really are great, but you know there's a it's great to hear on the, there's a person on the other end of the email that it would go to, but to know the best way for people who are have for abutters who are having very specific concerns about um, their own land and, and noise and things happening, I think it would be critical to have. People have more information on that to come to the public meeting probably, specifically what would our plan that that the, 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 the business plan for the GLX, I know brought in some new management and there's different hires and I'm not sure where it is in that process. There was, I believe, a assistant director for community outreach. I don't know if that has been filled or is going to be filled. 
If not, certainly we can talk about having a, a point person assigned, but yeah, yes. And the other uh, piece of these designs are really helpful. I haven't seen them before, but I, if they're online, I think that they would be helpful. They will post on the website? They will post on the website. No, not yet, but <laughs> they will be. The they will be. Yeah. Um, Senator, if you joined us, if you want to, want to weigh in at all, I'm sorry to give you the PowerPoint I really here. I apologize. <laughs> I didn't get out of my driveway to bring my car from. <laughs> um, well, at least it wasn't a, 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 a truck over there, a really constructive truck. So, <laughs> yeah. so I apologize for being late. I think because you're having a meeting, and I, I think uh, Brett Barber's point about having a single point of contact, and I know on other, or whoever we yeah. uh, I think that's a really good idea. But I, in other construction, I've also seen that the neighborhoods have had a single mm -hmm. Obviously, welcome as a project. You always would like to have, you know, maybe board captains, for lack of a better term, someone in a neighborhood who takes point and is the point of communication that we can work through. That way, you're not getting a, a lot of different stories at once. But again, as I said earlier before you came in, I think it's, our objective is to have a good, smooth communication plan between this neighborhood and every neighborhood on the corridor. And that will be our intention, and we will develop individual plans for neighborhoods and different construction areas. And that will be a rolling thing as different impact areas are impacted. Um, but absolutely, we, we will be very communicative and, and uh, responsive. To your point, Senator, I think once the design build construction working group gets going again, we'll have that point of contact for each station. Like, that's what we had before, so hopefully that will be applied again. 